Hi, this is Charlie giving you a video for Thursday. I'm not around doing live trading tomorrow morning. No, no live trade video tomorrow because I'm away. Um, but I've titled the, uh, this video, um, well, I was going to title it The Power of Patience. But then I said, well, I thought, oh, we'll make it sound a little bit better and call it the most important um, aspect of trading. And patience is one of the most important aspects of trading. I don't think there's a single one that you could outline. There's lots of very, very important parts of trading, but one is patience. Now, let me tell you a story. I remember many, many years ago, I was um, talking to um, a chap, who uh, a, a broker, a, a guy who ran a brokerage, who, but specifically dealt with um, sort of small hedge funds and the likes. And I remember him saying to me that his best fund managers that um, that traded with him, it wasn't necessarily about um, them trying to be right as many times as possible. In fact, most of them had quite low win rates. But what they did, he said, the very best traders, the best managers, when they got onto a winning position, they would push it and push it and push it and they would hold and hold and hold and just squeeze the position out. And that sort of piece, that piece of advice sat with me and stayed with me all these years because it's just about having patience. Warren Buffett talks about it from, a, from an investment perspective, but we as traders um, have to do it as well from a, um, from a maybe a short term trading perspective. And a great example of this is, um, I guess, is this dollar yen um, uh, position that most of you know that I'm, I'm in now, um, having done the uh, the uh, what was it called the, <laughs> the the challenge webinar last week, and this this is uh, something which I always say to people: you could look back at a chart, and so you could look at a chart and say, oh yeah, I, I got in over here somewhere, and uh, the position is now over here, and, and you could look at a chart and say, that's nice, yeah, I could do that. Um, the reality is most people really struggle with that. Now that's a weekly chart. If we take this down to a daily chart, let's now dissect this a little bit. Uh, I got in initially down here with, with a number of our traders actually, and then we banked some up here. I added in some down here, then all the way up. I might have added, it was somewhere up here and took some off up here, then added again down here and still holding this position. Now. Um, again, you could just look at a chart and say, oh yeah, that's very nice, I you know, just run it to target. But again, that's taken how many months now? One, two, three, until nearly four months um, into that position, into that overall trade now. And you have to sit through all of this. This period here, well, I've just boxed this off, that was two weeks. And for a lot of people, even two weeks of just basically seeing it going up, then pulling back, and you know, you're watching your P&L, you're just seeing your P&L going nowhere for two weeks. And then again, over in this period, it's just made a nice high, and then it pulls back, and it's not really doing too much over that period. Then you get your pullback zone, and then you then you start worrying about things like trade wars during this period, or uh, I think this was actually um, to do with uh, North Korea, and all the uncertainty about that. And then you have to have that conviction of your trade in order to stay through these things. You still have to monitor your trade and manage your risk, but you have to do that. And then you've got this period here, which again, it went up a little bit, but then it pulled back. Um, that's another whole period of what, three weeks of not doing too much. And then we've got another um, short period of a, what's that, just over a week here before then it um, breaking out again. So when you actually clump this down, it's short bursts of activity followed by consolidations. That's what often happens when you're in trades. Whether it's a, you know, you could be on a five minute chart and that will happen, or you could be on an hourly chart or, your, or a weekly chart, it really doesn't matter. But obviously the higher the time frame you go out, go out to, the more patience you need. So when you're looking back over your charts and you're doing your testing, don't just look at the chart and say, oh yes, it got to target. Think about how would you feel when you see that that market's gone sideways for two weeks or that it's pulled back and you must have been in a nice profit at that point only to see it significantly pull back um, uh, in, a, in a retracement, which we have to expect retracements. If we want to get to our targets, we have to put up with retracements as well. And sometimes we can use those to actually carry on building our position. So do ask yourself these questions because we all too often look at charts and don't really absorb and take into consideration what you've got to actually do in order to stay with the position. So there you go. That's my video for this week. It's all about patience.
just have a little patience.